Hi back again we go on. So um we did here the things for opening for the boat at the back. But we must bring it on to. So when we look here we see this one part comes to the door that is fixed with a holder on the deck and that is fixed by two of these holders straight shooter. Okay. So we try to do that. At first, must search here this part. It is that here. So bring that more that it comes here back that it fits with the original there. We scale that till a size where it don't come out on the other end. I think that is nearly good, but we make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And then we'll make that shorter, that that fits with the rest there. So that means take that whole thing and bring it there take that whole thing and bring it there but here we must go more up or more left that is the question that is no question it makes more sense to make it so I'm gonna think about it short how can they pull that that is round stuff I must look. Uh huh, here it's straight down. It's not a bandit hole there. It's a straight down. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. That means that here isn't correct. That here isn't there. It is a cube, like ever a cube. So add mesh cube, scale down, scale down, scale X, scale set. And scale Y. So that looks, that is the Real like a real, real reality. Control three on the numpad is the back view that we need now to scale that correctly in the epsilon. See it now, and now that fits all. We can now bring that here, but it don't. Makes sense here that is rounded too. Wow. Okay, then the only thing we can do is go here in this depthness and control R, make another loop and bring it there. And the rest of the loop we make uh, as a quad. So that means this whole shit here we scale y zero so we have here a straight edge then on the other side too that 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 and that scale y zero and bring them to that side and then the down part Bring on one height, scale set zero. And then we should have this line, and then we take complete and bring it near two, mm, but without the end points here. That is important, but no, it isn't important. 
good. That means we can take the whole place there and scale x zero. So then top view. And now we have only to bring that in correction. Then the whole loop. Bring them back and extrude. Bring them out. So now we have that. Uh, this whole thing can be more in. So that is a sway space between them. But now we have that. Good. That here must be a little bit more down. You see there's open at the down part and at the right part also and here on the side too. So we make that. Good. Now we see that fits there. You can go to solid view. There you see it then better. It fits now here and it fits there. It is perfectly now. Good, I go back to the material view. Uh, we need now a holder where that stands on. Um, that means we need here simply a um, cube. Add mesh cube, scale down. Let's look at it is the size of that one. Yeah. I'll scale X a little. Then we go with the top face down. Make the two loops. Scale X. And bring them up. Extrude and bring up. Then we take the front edges and bring them down. And that is the holder. And this holder comes down under. Or is turned, I think. So rotate Y 180 degrees. So and then bring it down under. So more there and more in two and it stands on them. Yes, but can be a little bit smaller. Scale Y and bring that in. Good. So we have it for that side. So we need it for the other side too. So we make a copy. Shift D and place it on the other side too. But here we rotate that, rotate set 180 degrees and done. Good. So from that part till that part here comes this pipe thing there. So we scale them down. Look that we are nearly there. So that means here somewhere. Uh, then this holder we need, so shift D make a copy, it should be turned, so rotate set 180 degrees, scale down, and fix it on this tower there, good, uh, the other one should then be on this other holder down there, and between them comes this one. So shift D, make a copy of that and bring it down. And here we need the bending of the other ones. So we make it like that. And then we see later how the turn is correctly. So we bring it on there, in there. So now we must place that between this both. 
So we rotate them, grab them, and position them. Scale. A little bit more up. That's good. And that here we can rotate. But we better rotate that. That is okay. We only see that here we must go a little bit more till the side. So there. And then we can connect that with this part. Bring them into onto. And now that is fixed on them. Um, we also have to make that here longer. And that one also. Good. Oh, that is not correct. That is correct. And that. Good. So now we have that, and we can do the same on the other side. So we take this all and shift D make a copy bring it there but here this must be returned oh uh, yeah rotate set 180 degrees turn not returned yeah good but it is done oh but it's wrong turned rotate Y and bring it there. Good. This one we can um, move to the rest collection. File save. This one we need not anymore. So M um, to rest collection. That here too to rest collection. And that also. Good. File save. So when we once again look at the picture, then that is all uh, white metal, and only this part here is yellow, and here it goes completely through it. So that means this pipe must be go through the other side. So we make that longer. Good. Then that should have the white metal. This one too. And the holder. And this holder. Good. And the top holder here should be have the yellow. Okay, and here also. As you see when we render, this windows here not open because there is no cut in the model. And that we need to do by the door windows, by this windows we must cut into that model. So we go to the deck, edit mode. Control R, make a loop in, and we move that. 
there should be our first one must look ah this for the other side too that makes it a little bit different good it is bad to see but we must do it control r make heel loop control r make heel loop control r and every time the same for each window there what happens or what happens not the front what's the back that is the bad thing in the moment and from top to down we need also a loop and then we can delete the face behind so face selection circle selection and only faces now it should be open X only faces that with all this stuff uh, here we see we must retweak and here also good we take here these words bring them more to there grab X good we look at the other side the holes are in we must copy the whole doors and this stuff to the other side later I'll save but before we open up here in the back of the door so control R we need a loop there and control R loop there and we can move Alt A disable selecting then we can get them here and this one there and that one there and that one there so we can open up now this face on both sides for sure and then we have that hole in, we look at the render and we see here we must make that class more but we see we can look through that is the good news, the bad news there it isn't so we must look where are these problems wireframe so what says the wireframe wireframe says that here can a little bit be more there that here more there that here also and that also so that should work here's the same we must go here into that it is what that looks close it isn't close really but it should look like that so last one that was from the other side the other side is different to them I don't know why normally that must be absolutely the same but who cares so here we have that open part but we can't look through it that is a wonder 
So I must check is there no there is no face nothing. Good. So we go back to the material view. Oh file save. We must check maybe the class of the door. So try that. And it is class. But maybe it is no good class. So we look at the shading. But that is a good class. Good. Then we go back to the modeling and we try it again. Now it works. And here at the Windows 2, only for that door we need it and for that door too. So we go on there. Good. Take the deck and cut in holes. Control R. Bring in the loops. I don't know why that is different on the back there. I don't understand that. Really mystery. Mysterious. Uh, good. Now we have to set all the points correctly. Circle selection and X lead only faces. Hope that happens on the back side too, but I think so. We look random mode. And here's the same like in the other. Maybe it takes time to calculate it correctly. What we look, what we get there. Class 268. And it is with Ray, with all them. That is good. So we can assign them again. And maybe that works then. Yep, don't ask me why, but you must again sign it and then it works. Normally it should directly work, but who cares. So, then we have to cut in here. So, with background selection, control R. Bring heel loop and... Well, that was not the plan. Control R. Heel loop. And now we have to bring them to fixture. So that was that. Now we can delete the face and we make it directly. We reassign here the class material. I hope that is a good one too. Yes, it is a good one too. Good, then that should be that part. So, by save. So, what we need on the other side is all. That means these lamps. Shift D, bring them to the other side, rotate set 180 degrees, and place them on.
so we are there don't know exactly where this sits a little bit more there okay we will see that later maybe then we need all this other stuff there yeah there's nothing so we need that here that this one that one the door this the things and that so shift D copy bring it there uh, object join together and we hope now would apply rotation scale and we can mirror them hopefully let's look that we are uh, make that correct so that is the correct one and bring them near to uh -huh. here that was an array that isn't applied so we have to take that one this whole thing with L you can select here this part and then bring them there and shift D make a copy bring it there shift D again bring it there and shift D bring it there good so now that side is the same as the other here I've seen the same problem that must be more to the back there and it must be applied this array modifier file save so we don't need this door anymore so we move it to the rest collection and that also these railings not needed anymore so oh wait 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 we need the railings because fire safe here around that boat comes a railing too when you look here you see it here's a two a railing there is a railing and here's a railing So here only two. Here is open, and here it goes completely here. Okay, I'm not a friend <laughs> of that, but what do we do? Uh, a two ones. So we can take that here. We set them on this side here so and we print them simply till the rest there I don't care about who that looks in the other stuff there because I want to finish that any time so bring it there we take here this one and shift D put it one there shift D one there and shift D one there done good same shift D place on the other side but there make that long gear in that direction there and we don't need here this rounded stuff there
so I delete that. Woo, that was too much. What is your all selected? I don't want to select that and that. So, X delete faces. So, uh, we have that. Now we take here the holders of the railing there with L. You can select them. Then top view, number 7. And now we must go here around. So, Shift D, place one there, maybe. Then Shift D, place one there. And Shift D, place one there. And so on to the front there. So, we need now the connections to them. So, that means we have to get here this whole stuff only that stuff and scale x0 so we have one line we go here to the middle then we extrude that and bring that till this point then we extrude that bring it to that point and so on Extrude there, extrude, bring it there. So, I think that is a very nice one. Uh, can bring that on this side, but I don't know I should do that, but okay. Take that and shift D place them there. Uh we must mirror that. I don't know. Oh I make it with P separate the selection now this one single arm mesh and set the origin to geometry and apply the rotation scale of it and then I try a mirror on it and then that works so we only have to bring them a little black and then that is okay and that we place here between them and then that is fine good so we have done that also completes all more and more and more and maybe we get finished sometimes good we move that to the rest layer that also to the rest layer so let me short think here these lamps are on both edges of the back part there we have here the lamp and it is on the edges of the back part so such like there so we scale it down rotate set minus 90 and bring it onto the ship so there is one um, shift D bring one on the other side then shift D rotate set minus 90 degrees and bring them here on the side and shift D one on the other side too grab Y and rotate set 180 degrees and move it to the Y good so we done that lamps there also file save good um, 
uh, we have done this uh, rescue boat on the top and that needs his color and the rest stuff there don't know where you see it correctly but it's red and it has several parts there here you see it I think yeah that is this uh, boat it should be red and here should be yeah a net so for that you go to our boat it's there file save as new version number we give them that red material so red plastic but in this middle part we need a alpha texture of this uh, yeah net so I don't know I have such in my folder from textures.com I must search mm. not completely that or not that not that not that not no we don't have it or I have one here that we can take I take that that little plaque cross you can easily um, make that so I bring it to the ship textures then I use that as a factor for alpha channel so that means we need here a plus new material and call it red net And it should be on the middle part. That is correct. Sign. And we go to the shading. Here we have now the notes of that material. And we won't have an input texture coordinates, an vector mapping, an texture, an image texture. An mixer shader mix shader and transparent note there's a shader too transparent so we connect the UV with the vector then the vector with the vector of the image we take the image as a factor for the red material and the transparent the transparent we make down under and take here at um, uh, uh, we could take diffuse shader or a principal shader this I take a diffuse shader that's not that big and place them there in the mix shader he needs that color that we have on these rings, so we simply grab it with the pipette and then we bring it to the base color of the principal shader. So now we need here the texture, so we open up our texture folder and take that cross as the factor and then we should see but it isn't unwrapped so we have to unwrap that you unwrap from view uh, let me think sure uh, sorry, uh, think short that is a gpack yeah, normally that must work 
that's not RGB, it is black and white. I don't know exactly why that not have a function now. Normally we must see that directly. Diffuse shader. That makes me nervous. I think it is this view. This view is not correct. That view can be correct. But we see nothing. That maybe can be on this size. We tried with window as a input. We don't see here anything on the white. That makes me nervous. There, nothing comes out from this GPEG, I think. You see here nothing, so there can't be anything. <sighs> I don't know. I don't misunderstand that. Maybe the principal shader works <laughs> another. Yeah, it works other. Okay. Then that is another point. That should be all right. And the principal shader takes that. Okay. So when we get here a um, tree and here tree. We see here nothing. That is a fucking shader. I take another war don't like that. So, then we need them and them and a uh, mix shader again. I deleted them, but now we need them. And we take here that as a factor. And we take that as a black and white. So, add color, ah, uh, converter, RGB to black and white. So now normally we must mix that. But I see nothing. Nothing. I don't understand that really. Good, then we make a pause for that day and I must search what is the error there. Find that out. Okay, then thanks a lot for watching and we'll see us in the next tutorial part. Bye.